Hi, it's time for another math easy. So we're going to discuss um, further into evaluating integrals. Uh, do, do examples part two of this series. Basically, now we're going to interpret integrals as areas, and because uh, that's basically what it is area under the curve. And so then we're going to evaluate these, interpreting them as areas here for the these two examples here. And this first one is uh, integral from zero to one of neg uh, of yeah square root one minus x squared dx. And this one is x minus one zero to three here. So if we look at part a right here, yeah, if we look at part a here, then we let y is equal to well this this function inside one minus x squared. And then so what this integral is, all it is is the area under this one. And, and from this, you can see that it's greater than or equal to 0 from 0 to 1. Because if you put a 0 in, you're just going to get a 1 for y. And if you put a 1, you're going to get a 0. So it's always going to be greater or equal to 0. And also now if we square both sides, so we get y squared is equal to 1 minus x squared. And put this on the other side, we're going to get y squared plus x squared is equal to 1. And now this is the equation of a circle. Yeah, this equation of circle with radius is equal to 1 in this case. You can see a video link uh, below in the info on uh, proof for the equation of a circle, so why this is it. Yeah, so now if we were to, let's uh, draw this out. Yeah, so we draw this out here. So when, when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1. So that's going to be right here. We'll just write that down right here. y of 0 is equal to, well, square root 1 minus 0 is just equals to 1. So this is 1 right here. And then y yeah y when x is equal to 1 this just equals to 1 minus 1 squared it equals to 0 so we get it up to here so at x is 1 so we get this value here so as you can see it is it's, it's a radius it's so it's a quarter of a circle actually so then this whole is a radius is equal to yeah radius is equal to 1 and this this is a quarter of a circle. And remember the integral, so this is just the area under the curve. Since it's always positive, it's going to be this area. And now, so this is the integral. So this is the from 0 to 1 of y dx. And so now basically the area is equal to that. So this, uh, yeah, so this, this function right here just equal to the area or one quarter area of a circle here. And we know the equation for area of circles is going to be is 1 over times pi r squared. And r is equal to 1. I'll, I'll do another video on a proof for this. We'll do it uh, later on so we develop in, uh, integration techniques that can do this. So now we get basically the answer is going to be pi over 4. Yeah, because the r is just 1. So this is this is the answer for part A. Okay, so yeah, that was uh, pretty quick. We didn't even have to do any uh, antiderivatives or any infinite rectangles or anything to get that. So now let's look at part B here. So this one is uh, integral from 0 to 3 of x minus 1 here. Yeah, so write it down here. So this is the same thing here. Remember, it's going to be the area under this graph of y is equal to x minus 1 here. So now this is a linear uh, linear graph here. So if we graph it out, yeah, so draw the axis there. So from 0 to 3, it's linear. So then we could just write at... So y of 0, or when x is equal to 0, we're going to have 0 minus 1 is equal to negative 1. And then the other end point, y of 3, is just going to equal to 3 minus 2 is equal to 2. So we'll just graph this out here. So add y is equal to 0, we're going to get a negative 1. And then up to, yeah, up to here, this is if this is x equals to 3, we're going to get y is equal to let's say, 1, 2. And so this would be the value right here. But uh, this intersection, uh, you could just think of it or, or just let y is equal to 0. So 0 is equal to x minus 1. We're going to get x is equal to 1 here. So that's it's going to intersect at this point here. You could have just thought of it or just uh, graph it up. Here, I just want to make it a bit more to scale. I erase that negative 1 here. So this would be somewhere. Yeah, this, this is where the negative 1 is. So we got this linear graph right here. Remember, it's going to be the net area is the integral. That's all that it is. So we can interpret it as that. So we'll call this a2. And we'll call this a1 here. And this is going to be a negative. This is negative. This is going to be a positive area here. So then we just subtract the difference here. So then basically, the integral of this is x minus 1 dx from 0 to 3 is equal to a2 minus a1. So we, need, we don't need to do any integration techniques. So just, just basically interpret as areas and, and find it. So now area 2, this one, this is the height 2. Base is going to be, well, this is base 2. This is, this is a 2 here. So 2 here. 
So area is equal to, the first uh, area 2 is going to be base times i, 2 times 2, divided by 2, subtracted by, now this one here, this is going to be a 1, this is going to be a 1. So then this was going to be 1 times 1 divided by 2. And this equals 2, well, this cancels, we're going to get 2 minus 1 over 2. And yeah, and then we just times common denominator on this, 2 over 2, we're just going to get uh, equal to 3, this is going to be 4 minus 1, so 3 over 2. So yeah, that's our answer, this also equals to 1.5, but anyway, so this is our answer for the integral here. So this integral, just by looking at the area, we could solve for what it is, because that's all it is, is the area or the net area here. So we'll just write that down, net area. So th that's what the integral, etc., equals. So that's all, all yeah, that's all for if we learn from this, uh, just a, just quick examples here to illustrate that you don't need to use infinite rectangles or antiderivatives, which I show in later videos with the, uh, basically get the, the integral of certain uh, functions like this. Well, that's all for right now. We can download these notes in the Dropbox link below, like always, and uh, let me know if it doesn't work. But anyways, uh, stay tuned for another math easy solution.